Hello there, Ray here, and today I'll be showcasing my hidden iron farm. I designed this farm way back when the Villager Maker mod came out, so almost three years ago, yet this farm still has characteristics that make it the best single cell iron farm out there today. The main reason why I built this farm was because I wanted a simple iron farm that I could easily hide under spawn. What makes my farm so easily to hide is that it only uses a single one by one hole to allow sky access down into the farm. And with a simple disguise, your iron farm is now completely hidden. Not only is it easily concealed, it is also very compact, only being 18 by 18 by 14 meters high. Even though it is compact, it has almost perfect spawning rates with an efficiency rating of over 98%, which averages out to about 41 iron ingots per hour. This is a single cell iron farm, which makes it very simple to build. That and the fact that you can use this farm above ground as well as you can hide it underground makes this farm the best iron farm for all players. The way this farm works is that all these doors are facing this single sky access point. This allows these doors to become technical houses for the game. This villager is in range of these houses and therefore he can make these houses into a technical village. But for an iron golem to spawn in the center of a village there needs to be at least 10 villagers and 21 doors. On top we have 11 doors and one villager and on the bottom we have 10 doors and 10 more villagers. The iron golems will spawn on top of these salted topped blocks and then they will get pushed into the center by the water streams. Here they will fall into the lava and they will die where they will drop their iron ingots. Sky access needs to be able to reach the doors down there so you cannot completely block this off but there are some block types that you can use to block this off. The block types that you can use to block the iron farm off are any blocks that you can place in the beam of a beacon and that will not obstruct the beacon's beam. To build my iron farm, you will first need to find a location. I recommend that you build this somewhere in spawn chunks. That way you can collect iron as you play in your world. I'm going to build a new iron farm directly underneath the other two iron farms. This is possible if you align the sky access point perfectly. You most likely will build this underground, so from where your sky access point is, you want to dig down at least 14 meters. Now that you've reached your desired depth, you want to pull up your F3 screen, you want to knock out the blocks to the east, and these blocks to the south, and then these blocks to the southeast. Centered on your new position, you will want to make a 18 by 18 square that has 8 meters of air above it. This means you go out in each direction 8 meters and then clear it out. After clearing out the area, you will want to remove the center four blocks. This is where the iron golem killing chamber will be. Now you will want to go up 4 meters and place a layer of top slabs across the entire area. You will want to knock out the slabs above the iron golem killing chamber. Up at the ceiling level, just east of the sky axis, you will want to place 3 top slabs. On the west side, you will want to place 3 top slabs. And on the south side, you will want to place five top slabs. Now you will want to go up above all the top slabs and place in your doors. You will want the doors to be facing the center and you will want to open them up so the zombies will not break them down. You do this for all the top slabs. Now you will want to place in one more top slab. And above this top slab, you will want to place in a villager. So right here, you will place your villager and then you want to box them in. Now you will want to place in a 1 meter wide ring of bottom slabs on both layers, just like this. From our iron golden killing chamber, we will go down another 2 meters. Now we will put in the hoppers that will collect iron. You can have these hoppers go into any chest that you want to. Standing in the sky access point, we will face east and we will take out 3 blocks this way. And facing south, we will take out 4 blocks. And facing west, we'll take out three blocks and we'll place doors in all these locations. You will want to make sure that all the doors that are facing the center are closed. That way the iron does not get spilled out. Above the hoppers, you will want to place in fence gates and then you will want to open them all. Now over here, you want to go down three meters and place in a bottom slab. After you got all ten villagers inside, you will want to put a top slab above it. Now it is time to place the water. You will want to start on one side and skip to and then place 5 meters of water. And then you'll want to skip to and place another 5 meters of water. And you'll want to do this for every side. In every corner you'll want to place in a scaffolding block 
with a water source alongside of it and then remove the scaffolding block. If you do not want the iron golem that is burning to death to affect the spawn rates of more iron golems in the farm, you can move the hoppers down by one meter. Otherwise, the last step in your farm is just to add the lava. The lava there will keep the light level high enough in here to prevent zombies from spawning and breaking down this door. Now you are a proud owner of a hidden iron farm. In the video description will be a world download. There you have it guys, the best all around single cell iron golem farm. If you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you want to see more amazing survival builds, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye bye!